Hey guys, how's it going? It is Gina at Impressive Glow Spray Tan and Spray Tan Training. So I wanted to come up with like a weekly topic of like technique, um, information for those of you who maybe have just started your spray tan business um, and you really are just learning the simple basics of spray tanning and uh, when you do that, when you just become a spray tan technician, you tend to really over analyze technique, which is great. I mean, at the beginning as a spray tan technician, that's absolutely um, where you need to be. You know that it's important to you if you are over analyzing technique. Uh, there are some very quick tips that I think can um, help you guys as you start your process of a spray tan business. So I kind of wanted to do like maybe on Thursdays or something, just to throw out some like really quick uh, spray tan uh, techniques for you guys. So I wanted to start with, um, my spray tan gun and if you can see where is it okay you see how the thread of my gun I only have a couple threads that you can actually see probably only two um, now of course I learned this in my spray tan training so shout out to Kelly um, at spray tan class she's absolutely amazing she's in San Diego find her YouTube um, absolutely amazing information so this was something that I learned from Kelly for sure uh, but I kind of put a little spin on it as to why it's so important for me and I think it's important for you guys to know that information. So the reason why, a couple reasons why I keep my thread super, super low on my gun is number one, complete control. I want complete control of where this solution is going. I want to make sure that, you know, I've gotten every section down completely covered. I want to be able to see it. I want it precise. Uh, number two is I don't want to waste any solution. If my thread is too high and I have overspray all over the place, that, that's not that's not good. I'm going to be wasting a lot more solution in this gun. So I want complete, um, I want to use everything that's in that gun um, and I don't want any like a whole bunch of overspray. That's also why a lot of girls may like in their salons and they don't like spray tanning their home is because they have way too much overspray in their home. That may just be because you have your gun too high. Turn that stuff down, get complete control over it. Uh, number three is um, you really control, um, like a lot of girls tend to see a lot of um, beading when they are over spraying. And so if your spray tan gun is too high, you're gonna get a lot of overspray. And so when you talk about overspray, that's just when you see the, like, the beading maybe like on the chest, on the backs of the legs, things like that. So if your gun's really low, it's gonna you know, do a very narrow space of solution onto the skin. It's gonna soak, have time to soak up because it's not so much being attached to that skin in that section. Um, and you can always go over it again. If you don't think it's dark enough or if you think you know you want a second layer, I always do a full complete layer and then a second pretty quick layer just kind of right, right over in certain areas. So that's my tan. Tan Technique Thursday. I don't know, I'll come up with something. But anyways, that's the information that I have for you guys today. Check out your spray tan gun, see where your adjustments are, play around with it, see what works for you. But watch what happens when you turn that spray tan gun down, you're gonna get so much more control, you're gonna save so much more product, and it's probably gonna look even better uh, once you uh, execute that spray tan. So I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, talk to you guys soon.